my relationship with Duke began in 1970 when I entered the MD-PhD program. Then I stayed at Duke for my residency in pathology. I also did a research fellowship. And then I stayed on a faculty member at Duke uh, in the Department of Pathology and Surgery and Immunology for uh, about 13 years. My wife Janet actually is a longer term Dukey than I. She uh, was there as an undergrad. And we met while she was an undergrad and I was in med school. And uh, she stayed on uh, in a variety of staff positions and got her MBA at the Fuqua School where she ended up being uh, actually associate dean. A couple of years into our marriage, my wife uh, had some symptoms that we thought initially was uh, an ovarian cyst and it ended up being a fairly significant, rare, and highly malignant germ cell ovarian tumor. So it had basically a six month survival. And uh, here she is <laughs> uh, many years later with, with us having two wonderful kids. And um, can't say enough, and she can't say enough about the wonderful care we got at Duke. My daughter also had a very important benefit from Duke Clinical Care. Uh, it was a troubled delivery. I've, I've learned over the years, you let the experts do what they can, um, and they did. And uh, she is an incredibly healthy young woman who is actually a nurse now, uh, practicing in New York. Our gratitude to Duke um, is substantial. In 2001, we established the trust. Um, the trust was focused on um, helping support uh, MD-PhD students. I knew from my own experience the financial issues that medical students continue to face and felt this would be the best thing we could do for Duke and we established um, a trust. Subsequently, a few years ago, we wanted to uh, enhance that and began a scholarship program, uh, which the trust rolls into. We chose a bequest because our kids at that point were still in middle school and high school. One never knows what's going to happen in that situation. So we wanted to make a commitment um, and yet we wanted to have enough flexibility just in case anything might happen where we would need the flexibility to uh, um, use those funds for family matters. We really value the time we had there and uh, want to support others who uh, would like to uh, have that uh, experience and, and maybe uh, don't have the financial wherewithal to make it happen.